Hi guys, so uh, we started a conversation on education, skills, jobs, employment, uh, knowledge and uh, the feedback has been absolutely fantastic. I want to read a couple of messages. Um, this one is from Naomi and she says, I agree, Julie Gishuru, I have a degree in business administration, but I'm sitting at home because I don't have experience. As a mother, I feel so bad. Uh, Nyaboke Ngonge says, very accurate. I can't believe I have studied engineering for six years. Should be five, but public universities, stories for another day. Yet out here, employers will still not consider me fit for employment. They want to first train me for one year on internship. And she asks her friend, uh, Kwamboka Brenda, you feel me? <laughs> and um, Charles Kialo says, I swear, if only our parents knew, it's not always about the degree, it's about life lessons and finding it through other means other than sitting in those lecture theatres for four years and come out with zero, zero experience, zero practical knowledge, and it's like you have to start all over again. So this conversation has been about the fact that many of our university degrees take many years. They are long and they are also very expensive. And yet a lot of people are not getting jobs. And this is a huge problem, a huge disconnect. And the question that we are asking is, doesn't it then make more sense to go for tertiary training, make sure you get as much on the job experience as you can, so you go to market as quick as possible, you study six months, 12 months, at the most two years, and you get a job. Um, so let's continue our thoughts on this. And I want to speak to the people who have maybe gone to university or who are in university right now and are concerned about the gap. Don't give up. There's always hope. And my feeling very much is that knowledge is always something of importance. No matter what you've learned something, somehow you will be able to utilize it. But what do you do now? You've got a degree, you've got a master's maybe even, and you still can't find a job. Ask yourself, can I retool? Retooling is absolutely critical in the world today. What does that mean? That means that you might have a business degree and a master's degree as well, but maybe you can look at an industry you can go into and specialize in a course that's maybe a six month course um, that could give you insights and skills that are needed on the market and that gives you an advantage. So for instance, there's a lady I know who had two master's degrees. She retooled with a course in aviation and immediately secured a job in the aviation industry. Now that's retooling. So if you're in university, don't worry, just go out there and kind of see in these short courses, in these tertiary institutions, are there things that you can do? Possibly you'll find that there are. And once again, to those people struggling to get into university, if you're thinking university is everything and you don't make it, please don't give up. Start to look around you at the different opportunities, different training institutions and approved tertiary courses that you can do. Ask them, how do they link as institutions to the private sector, to the working world? How many of their graduates get employed? If they're good institutions, they should have some of that information. If they're good institutions, private sector is actually linking direct to them to get the graduates. So find out what's going on in your area of interest. Write down lists of places you could perhaps do tertiary training, but the best news is yet to come. There is funding available for young Kenyans who go into vocational or tertiary training institutions. HELB, I think is the Higher Education Loans Board, should be able to give you access to funding to get you through your vocational and tertiary training. And that's what's all important. Look at how we struggle to raise funds, to get people into universities or into colleges, and then we have a gap in employment, or we don't manage to raise enough funds to finish the course, or they don't manage to get into university. So please don't give up. Take a look around you, look at what's best for you, map your path, and go for it. Thank you.